Alrighty everyone, welcome to episode 2 of Alpha Dog TV. Joe is actually out on a couple great hunts right now, so I'm going to be bringing you this episode this week and I cannot wait to share it with you. Um, it was a great hunt. We are still hunting central Wisconsin. Uh, we were doing a bit of scouting and we were honestly having a hard time finding birds. These birds have been moving around with the duck opener and things kind of getting shot up. And as luck would have it, just about every bird in the area was actually hitting a field that I had already had permission to. Um, some great high school friends of mine own this field, so I had permission. We wrangled up five guys to go out hunting, and it was one epic hunt. Let's get right into the footage. She's she'll get it. Good, bring it here. 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 Good. Yes. Oh my god, you got it. Yeah. Come on. Yeah, I'd take a gun with you. Come here, come here, another band, another band.
All right, so we finally had a hunt go well. Uh, we had five guys. We uh, a couple poor shot calls or uh, lack thereof, but we scratched out 15 birds. There were this was loaded last night. So uh, we actually ended up with some jewelry. We shot two bands. We thought we had three, but uh, yeah, ended up being a banger. So as you can see, that hunt was just a ton of fun. It was hectic and stressful as it was going on because these birds just kept pouring into the field. It didn't matter what we were doing, whether we were picking up birds. I was outside of the blind trying to get Harley back into her blind because we had birds all over and um, it, it was just crazy. It was one of those things where I'm filming and I see a four pack coming in this way and they're talking about getting ready to shoot the two on the right hand side and it was kind of a difficult hunt to film and it was a little bit stressful in the moment just because we had so many birds working us um, at one time but when it was all said and done man looking back on it it was just a blast to be able to scratch out a five man limit and kill two bands um, that was just an amazing hunt and one thing I love about filling limits is as a cameraman I get to pick up the gun a little bit so I got to do a bit of shooting on this hunt too which is always a great time and this was just a hunt that I won't forget and I hope you guys really enjoyed. So one thing I wanted to talk to you guys about real quick is my supplement implementation with Harley. Um, just like human athletes, these dogs are athletes and diet and supplements are very important for that. So I feed Harley a very high-end dog food. It actually took me a little while and some experimentation to find out um, what works best for Harley. She actually has a chicken allergy and in a lot of the main dog foods um, they use chicken for the main source of protein and that caused a whole bunch of problems with Harley um, from you know kind of bad digestive issues she really struggled with bad dandruff and um, really dry skin for a long time I mean she just had she'd shake and dandruff would fly all over the place you didn't want her on the furniture um, so I found a dog food that works better for her the vitality supplement that we offer at Alpha Dog Nutrition has also really helped with Harley um, it's completely taking care of her dandruff. She's got a smooth, silky coat now, so Vitality is something that I feed to Harley for her coat, and that's really helped. Another thing that's very important, um, especially during hunting season, is resurgence. Now, resurgence really helps with just rehydrating, refueling, um, kind of taking care of those muscles after a difficult hunt. On these, you know, hard Canadian honker hunts, these birds can weigh up to 14 to 15 pounds and Harley only weighs 55 pounds. So that's a that's a big workout to run out there and to be retrieving all these birds. So I really try to feed her resurgence after hard hunts or training um, sessions because injuries often occur when you're fatigued and your muscles are fatigued. So that's something I really try to um, pay a lot of attention to, especially during hunting season because we're hunting all the time. So. After a difficult hunt like this, I make sure to feed her resurgence, gets her refueled um, and ready to get back at it the next day. And then of course our free range supplement. Harley's only four years old, so she's young, she's healthy, her joints are doing great, but free range is a um, preventative joint care supplement and I went through it myself. I actually, just a couple months ago, I had to put down our 12-year-old yellow lab, and that was a hard experience. And of course, we we all go through it as hunters that you know run hunting dogs. It's it's just one of those things that really hurts. It's unavoidable. But one of the there was many many reasons why we had to make that difficult decision. But one of the hardest things was Tucker's back hips were really going um, towards the end of his life. In fact, on his very last hunt, uh, his his last rooster retrieve ever. Um, as he was picking that bird up, his back hips just gave out, and it's just hard to watch. Um, it's hard to watch their joints go. So that's something I'm trying to get ahead of with Harley uh, with this free range supplement, helping those you know joints, getting them lubricated, the preventative care that's very, very important. Um, you know, it, it's not a silver bullet. It's not gonna add 10 years on your dog's life, but what it will do is really help your dog maximize the years it has. It'll help them be more comfortable. It'll help them add more hunting seasons onto their career, and it'll really prevent those joint issues that tend to creep up on you once your dog hits an older age. So between the Vitality, the Resurgence, and the Free Range, those are what I'm feeding my dog. Um, the Resurgence, super important for this time of year. We're in the middle of hunting season in Wisconsin. Hunting seasons are opening up across the state, um, and it's very important if you're hunting your dog hard to make sure you're replenishing them, making them you know, get proper 
water and rehydrated for the hunt in the morning. Um, so that's what I'm doing with my dog. Thought I'd share that with you guys. I'd be very interested to hear what you're doing with your dogs, what supplements you're using. Um, make sure you send in some pictures of your dogs and of course, you know, we're doing some hunting around here in central Wisconsin. You're getting to see my dog Harley at work. We're continuing to work through some of the issues she's having with breaking. Um, I'm excited to do some more training with her to try to fix that issue and sharpen that up. But we want to hunt with you guys and we want to see your dogs. So send in um, what you would like to do, whether you want to come hunt with us or take us hunting with you. We'd love to show off your dogs. We'd love to hunt with some members of the community and see what you're up to. We're probably going to try to keep it local here for a little bit in the Wisconsin area, but make sure you get a hold of us. We'd love to hunt with you. We'll see you in episode three.